Looking for the jeans, I'm dripping. You wanna see and see my whip, yeah. yeah. All I had to do was listen. Listen, listen, listen. Gotta got a bitch, I lean. Yeah. On my shot, we did. Whole lot of bad little bitches. Whole lot of bad little bitches. Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy, LA Crypto. Coming at you today with a nice little tutorial for BNB, man. One thing I always hear everyone say, every time we do the MetaMask stuff or DeFi stuff, is how, how you get that BNB? Where you get it from? I want to get started. How you get it? So, we're going to show you that today. Step one, obviously, is uh, figure out who, who you are. Are you going to buy it or are you going to mine it? So, for me, come down here. I like to use nice hash. I got a bunch of different miners. I mine Bitcoin. So from here, from my nice hash, I send it to the Exodus. And then uh, with an Exodus, I switch Bitcoin into Binance. You know, no biggie. Uh, you might want to be a person who just buys it straight. Well, that's cool. And you can use Binance.us. I'll have a link in the description on a tutorial for that. So you can just run through that real quick. You know, this is KYC know your customer so basically you're putting everything in there you know you're putting your bank account social id all that stuff but it's just the way it is so for most people though which is why this tutorial is here today it's a lot of people use coinbase they always want to know hey man I, I got coinbase and i got bitcoin and la 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 i got litecoin but i ain't got no big bnb i can't find it you know so that's what we're gonna do today so obviously step one get coinbase buy something for this tutorial, I'm using Litecoin. That's what, what I bought. And then uh, we're going to go on to step two. Step two, you already saw what I was using earlier. We're going to use Exodus. So go ahead and search Exodus. From here, you're going to look Exodus.com. We're going to click on Exodus. Click on Download up at the top right. And then if you're using a, uh, a Mac or, you, you know, you're using uh, Windows, you know, choose which one. Once it starts to download, it's going to download right there at the bottom left. For me, I already got it, so I'm going to pause it. I don't need this. I'm going to hit cancel. But for you, once it's done, it'll say open file. You're going to go ahead and open file. You're going to follow the install instructions. It's going to install. And then it's going to put it right here, right on the on your desktop. So once it's on your desktop, go ahead and double click in. It'll bring you right here to the main page, main portfolio page. You Definitely going to want to do some security stuff in the settings, you know, put a password on or whatever. But for the tutorial, we're just going to pass that up, right? So here you got Exodus. This is where we're going to be doing the exchange from whatever it is that you got on Coinbase into Binance. So for this tutorial, like I said, we're using Litecoin. So I'm going to go ahead and switch this over to Litecoin. And uh, as you can see, I got zero in here. So we're going to need to put some in here. Let me go off to our portfolio. I'm going to click down, find Litecoin, because that's what we're doing in this tutorial. And under here, I want to receive Litecoin. So I'm going to click receive. It's going to show me my address. So I'm going to copy this address right here. From here, I can minimize. Now I'm going to go back. And we're going to go back to the Coinbase. So you're going to go into your Coinbase, click on your portfolio. If you're using Bitcoin, you know, make sure you use Bitcoin and then send it to Bitcoin on your Exodus. For this tutorial, though, we're using Litecoin. So I'm going to click on Litecoin. And right here on the right, it's going to allow us to send or receive. We're going to send. We're going to send all our LTC. That's our Litecoin. And then where here it says two, we're going to paste. To paste, you just right click. It'll bring up these little options. But just click paste. And uh, that's basically it. So if you needed a note, you can put a note. It's an optional message. But for this, we don't. So we're just going to go ahead and click continue. It's going to tell us that there's going to be some fees, but this is Litecoin, which is why I chose it. It has incredibly low fees. If you can see, it's 0 .0000042, so super cheap. So we're just going to do that send now. It's going to ask for a two-step verification. That's going to be on a cell phone or something, so my phone's about to pop off. There it is right now. Let me go ahead and write down this little verification code number right here. And that was six, nine. All right, so we're going to hit confirm. And it's going to take a little bit, but once it confirms, it's going to send the uh, Litecoin straight to my Exodus. So 
normally you're gonna hear a little chime you probably heard it in the background that lets you know that uh it's sent over so now i'm gonna minimize we're gonna go back into exodus i'm gonna exit this out and i'm gonna go into my portfolio and i'm gonna see that yep litecoin just dropped literally just dropped in my account so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna wait about five minutes or so and then after i wait five minutes or so i'm gonna come back in and we're gonna do the exchange only reason I say that, you know, you usually want to do that is sometimes it charges you weird. Sometimes it does weird stuff. But, you know, I'm right here back. It's been about two minutes or so. Everything's cool. So we're going to switch over to the exchange. She kind of didn't see me do it. We'll switch back right here at portfolio. We're in the first page. We'll click on these two arrows in the middle. That's exchange. That'll throw us over here. We want to exchange what we had, which was Litecoin into Binance. So as you can see, we have $95 worth of Litecoin. When we click all, it's allowing us to send out 94. And then from there, it's going to turn into 90. So you can see that there's a, a charge right from the beginning, five bucks. So, you know, it ain't so bad, actually. You know, 95 to 90 is pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and click exchange. Now this is going to take a second. And <clears throat> to be real, by a second, I mean, it might take like 20 minutes, 30 minutes. But, you know, that's how it works. So if you come in portfolio, you're going to have zero. But if you come down, you're going to see that there's an exchange in process. And uh, that's basically how it is. Once your exchange is done, you're going to see that the Binance is going to be in your account. And then there it is, man. You got Binance. All right, guys. It's been about like uh, five minutes. We got the little notification. So if you can see right here, we got BNB now in our account. So we got the 1.8. <clears throat> so, you know, we almost done. So now we're going to get this to our MetaMask. So let's open up our, our browser again. And what we're going to do is we're going to look up BNB Chain Wallet. All right, and what we're looking for is right here, the Google Chrome. So just like MetaMask, you're going to do everything the exact same. You're going to install. Once you install, it's going to bring up the little Binance Chain Wallet up here at the top, just like MetaMask did. And it's going to do everything you see right here. So we're going to scroll down. It's going to show up right here. It's going to say, Welcome to Binance. It's going to tell you to put in a brand new one. You're going to put in a brand new one. And then you're going to be able to do your all your thing. So after you've already done that and you got the wallet you're in we're looking at it right here you don't want to make sure here at the top where it says binance smart chain ethereum network or chain network you always want to make sure it's on the regular chain network all right chain network is regular bnb that's what you got in exodus that's that's basically what you buy that's what's in binance us this smart chain is what we're going to be using in metamask so we're going to always make sure this is that regular chain. We're going to leave it at that. Now we're going to copy this address right here. Then we're going to move on over to our Exodus. Here from Exodus, we're going to click on send because we're going to send that BNB out. We're going to paste. The address looks good. Right here, we're going to send it all because that's what we're going to do. We want to send it all. So I'm going to send it all over minus the charge of uh, four cents that's, that's what's going to give us so i'll click on send yep send send anyways and then it's going to send it from the exodus that we have and it's going to shoot it on all down over there to be announced so now that's in the bcw i'll open that up and uh see right here it showed up the 1.8 so we're almost done from here we're going to go to our MetaMask. And if, <clears throat> if you don't have a MetaMask that's on the Binance Smart Chain, I'll have my link down in the description. Pause the, the video right here real quick. Pause it. Look down in the link. Um, go ahead, uh, right-click, open a new tab. It just takes five minutes. You'll be in and out. Once you're done and you see you have your Binance Smart Chain MetaMask, you're going to copy this account right here. Then you're going to go back. The chain wallet from the chain wallet which is right here at the regular you're gonna send 
Alright, the address, just like all the other times, we're going to paste what we copied. And it's going to tell us that there's a cross-chain transfer to Binance Smart Chain. So basically, it's telling you it's, it's going to take this regular BNB and switch it to the Binance Smart Chain stuff. That's what we want. So let's come down over here. Let's click Max because we want to send it all. Let's click Send. It's going to show up right here real quick. Um, what the charge is, how much we're going to have left. So, you know, we're going to be all right. So let's go ahead and click Send. Transaction successful. Shot already over. Everything looks good. We're going to look over here at MetaMask, and uh, we're going to see that my 0 0.016 is going to go to like 0.19 or something like that. We'll see. Oh, my mouth is wrong, so we're here at 0 0.2, so there it is. <clears throat> That's basically how you get your, uh, your money from Coinbase to Exodus. From Exodus, you use the exchange to switch it, whatever it is, to Binance. BNB. Once you do, you take that BNB, you send it on back to your Binance chain wallet. Once it's in the Binance chain wallet, you send it to your MetaMask. And um, trust me, I know it sounds like there's a bunch of hoops, but man, that's what we gotta do. So if you're not gonna be doing that, you know, you'd be doing the Binance.us, and then from there, you're still gonna send it to your Binance chain wallet, and then still send it to MetaMask. So. Hopefully this tutorial help you guys out, man. You know, it's about like 10 minutes or so. I'm trying to keep it as, uh, as short as possible. But, you know, that's uh, that's what we're doing. That's how we're able to interact with all these DeFi dApps. You know, you need to be able to hook up your MetaMask. And then uh, get that BNB in. You know, this ain't financial advice. But, man, sometimes you got to jump in while the game's good, man. So, hopefully this helped. If you guys have a... Uh, any questions, man, leave them down in the comments like always. And uh, if this video helped you out, please, you know, hit that like button. That lets everyone know that, you know, this video is good and that, you know, it got everything done. Because I know all you guys, I know you guys want the BNB. So, like I said, man, just hit that like button. And if you guys have any questions, just let me know down in the comments. All right, guys, peace.